Hi, this is Pete, or Kenshin1913, and this is another. Getting to know Kenshin1913, what are we going to be talking about today? We're going to be talking about Yugos. What are Yugos, you ask? Well, Yugos are a Yugoslavian car that they brought to America back in 1985. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much all in this book here. Yugo, the rise and fall of the worst car in history. Now, why do I enjoy Yugo so much? Well, one of the reasons why I love Yugo is, and as you can see, it's a Yugoslavian car, made in 1985, brought over to the States, and uh, they pretty much... There's this little econ economy car that they sold for $4,000 brand new, and uh, it was a pretty good car in the aspect of it could get you to point A and B. Anyways, the reason why I love it is because my dad owned one, back in the day, and when I was a little kid, we always used to go riding in it, and he used to, he was an electrician, or he is an electrician still, and uh, what we like to do is he would go on side jobs with the car, and he would take us with, me and, me and my brother with us, and we would go around, and it was just a lot of fun in the car. We always used to love it, and I had a lot of fond memories of it, and uh, a lot of people had horror stories with this little red car, with the little red car here, but I uh, actually loved it. I don't know why, I have something, I have something with liking weird things and liking like weird, uh, like, uh, pretty much, uh, like underdog kind of things and all that, and I just like weird, like, I think it's because I'm a little brother, so I kind of like, uh, like the underdog type things and like when things don't get as much shine as they do, you know, um, but one of the reasons why I love this car was because it was red my dad got the red basically pretty much the same one that i just showed you in the picture and like i said we would just take rides all around i remember because there's a lot of things about the yugo like that there's a lot of jokes there's like a whole website dedicated to yugo jokes where they just talk about how it breaks down this that, and the other and i'll, and I'll read some of them from the book here because he put, put a lot in there but anyways um it would break down every once in a while and then uh, we would have to push it it was kind of it was still fun because it was just like this small little compact car and uh, I don't know I just loved it like it was just something that that reminds me of my childhood and like with my dad and everything and a couple of times when we used to play back when my dad he parked it on the uh, on the driveway near our house and when we play tag around the house me and my friend Jay at the time we used to hide in the Yugo and Ant would come and would, he, he's like screaming at us he's like I know you guys are in there I know you guys are in there, and we would lock the door, and he wouldn't be able to get in there. And uh, it's just a lot, of, a lot of fun. So my dad ended up buying, the, uh, I guess it's in 1987. I, I was four years old at the time. Maybe even later he bought it. But he bought a Yugo. This is his actual owner's manual. I actually kept it because I love the car so much. I don't know. I don't know. It's just something about it. I just love it. Anyways, uh, so, you know, we used to have a lot of interesting times i remember being on the highway and he he was traveling and and uh, and just like checking out the window you know you have the manual gotta pull down the uh window you got the weird locks and all that but um yeah it was just a lot of fun and just something that i enjoy and i think one of the reasons why another reason why i loved it was because of movies back in the day i think it was 85 or 87 the movie dragnet came out with um Dan Aykroyd and Tom Hanks, and what happened in them is their cars, the cars that they had, they got stolen a bunch, and by and their final car, the last one that they got, was a Yugoslavian car, and it was a Yugo, and they were playing like a mini TV in there, and I was like, hey, look, Dad, there's our, there's your car in there, so that was kind of cool. Another movie, I never saw it, Moonlighting with Bruce Willis, apparently they had a Yugo in it. Another one that I watched a lot, and I always talk about whenever it comes up, is Die Hard with a Vengeance or Die Hard 3. They actually steal a Yugo, and uh, he tries to, like, like uh, Sam, Samuel Jackson and Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis was playing John McClane, and uh, he, he, like, they pick, they break the, the window. He tries to turn on the car with, like, a screwdriver or whatever. That works or whatever. But the ho most hilarious thing was that the Yugo, apparently, whoever owned the Yugo in the movie, had a, had a phone that didn't work in there. It was, like, a, a car phone, which... Pretty much the Yugo was bare, bare, uh, bare bones kind of car. Where the fact that uh, like it had uh, it, it didn't it was uh, it was a it was a manual car, 
so it made it cheaper. And they pretty much, I don't think it had an AC, or it did, and it was just not very good. It was a bare bones car, really bare bones, but that's what they were trying to sell them as, like 4,000 bucks economy and all that. But um, anyways, Die Hard 3, and, and, and while they're driving, they're like, can't this, he's like, can't this piece of shit go any faster? And he's like, he's like, this is a Yugo, it was built for economy, not speed. So then they break into another car. Another movie, apparently, I didn't know the Birdcage had it, and I have to go and look at that. But I, I just wrote down a list of Yugos that were in movies. Drowning Mona, which was a great movie. Pretty much, the whole town had Yugos. It was a uh, like a test town where they uh, where they put Yugos and stuff, and uh, everyone was driving Yugos. It was awesome. And then finally, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Uh, I believe Nick, who was played by Michael Cera. As a Yugo, a yellow Yugo, and the funny thing is, there's this one point where they're in the mood, they're in the, they're driving around in this Yugo, and um, Kat Dennings is Nora, and they're driving around in this Yugo, and uh, what the hell happened? Some drunk guy gets in thinking that it's a taxi, and you can, I don't care how drunk you are, but you can't ever uh, mistake in a Yugo for an actual taxi cab. Never, never, never. The thing was a small, tiny, little yellow car. Anyways. Just crazy. So, um, you know, one thing I did end up getting for my dad, granted it's a little more for me than my dad, is I ended up buying, like, this little Yugo uh, car. I don't think that you can actually, like, drive it around. It's just pretty much in the uh, in the case and whatnot. But it's still pretty cool, and, you know, I like it. I'm not really a car guy, but, you know, there are certain cars that, like, I would love to get. But uh, I think a Yugo would be one of them. How about the... Like, if I had stupid rich money, I would probably buy a Yugo and then just customize it to what I want. I would just make it uh, automatic because I don't know how to drive manual. And then I would make, um, what else would I do? I would just make it, like, like beef it up and make it really nice. And make it, like, an awesome car. Because I am fascinated with it for some reason. And I, I really think it's because my dad had it and, my, you know, we had it during our childhood. It was a lot of fun. And it was just, it was just a cool car. And like, he was one of the people, like there are a handful of people out there who actually had Yugos that didn't have problems with them. And, uh, yeah, he, he was one of them and it was just a good car. It really, he really pretty much drove it to the ground. I think he had it like mid, so if he got it in like 87, I think he had it till like the mid nineties and, 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 uh, it just ran great. So I'm just going to kind of read you a couple of the, uh, because obviously the, this book is pretty much about the rise and fall of the worst car in the history, which a lot of people agree that this, uh, this the Yugo is the worst car ever, ever made, but there could be other ones. So uh, they have jokes in here every chapter. I'll read off a couple to you. What do you call passengers in a Yugo? Shock absorbers. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be a piece of shit. Anyways, you go, you go. How do you double the value of your Yugo? Fill the gas tank. <laughs> I don't mind them poking fun at it. Because I understand that it's kind of like people think that it was a piece of shit car. And to a lot of people it probably was. But for me and my dad and our family, the Yugo totally was worth the four grand that my dad ended up buying. Or buying it for. Uh, how do you make a Yugo go faster? Use a tow truck. <laughs> what is included in every Yugo's owner manual? A bus schedule. <laughs> How does Yugo sustain as much damage in the front end collision? A tow truck takes the impact. <laughs> what do you call a Yugo with a flat tire? Total. <laughs> uh, what do you call a ceiling? What does a Yugo and a ceiling fan have in common? They both have the same motor. <laughs> How do you make a Yugo go from 0 to 60 in less than 15 seconds? Push it off a cliff. <laughs> and then uh, you got, what do you call a Yugo? I wish I could like put laugh, maybe I'll add like laugh tracks or something. What do you call a Yugo with brakes? Customized. <laughs> uh, why is a Yugo like a big lighter? You can use, you use it until you runs out of gas, and then you throw it away. Oh my God! <laughs> what do you call a Yugo with no wheels? No go. Because one of the jokes that you, it, it, one of the jokes that they used to have was, uh, 
was uh or not jokes but like one of the slogans that the Yugo had was uh wherever I wherever I go you go you go you go like literally you go you go so that was one of the things that, that they joked about what do you call a Yugo station wagon a we go <laughs> find the rest of these but yeah you kind of get the idea what do you call a yugo that breaks down after 100 miles an overachiever <laughs> couple more the most famous one is uh what do you call no not this one what do you call a yugo with twin tailpipes a wheelbarrow <laughs> see what else how many teenagers can fit in it in a yugo no one knows none of them wants to risk being seen in one and i would i guess i was one of them dorks a man walks in the gas station and says, how about a gas cap, gas cap for my Yugo? The attendant says, sounds like a fair trade to me. <laughs> that one was nice. What's the difference between a Yugo and a golf ball? You can drive a golf ball 200 yards. No, there's a really famous one. <laughs> why, are the you, you, why are Yugo drivers like corned beef? They both come in tin cans. <laughs> Your mama drives a Yugo. That's it. Oh, the most famous one was why does a Yugo have heated uh, back win uh, back uh, back windows or whatever, and that's so that you can keep your hands warm while you're pushing it. <laughs> so yeah, Yugos. That's what I like. It's a weird thing that I like. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I'm not gonna keep saying I don't. I do know why. My dad and uh, I had a lot of memories as a kid, and it was just a cool car. So one, and like I said, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge, uh, I'm not a huge car guy, but I do enjoy a few cars, which I may talk about more in uh, other episodes. But this is definitely one of them, and uh, uh, I actually want to know what type of weird thing you're into. Like just one, don't name a whole bunch. Maybe we'll do more later. But like one weird thing, like and maybe an underdog kind of thing, like a Yugo or something, where you're like, man, I like this thing. And I don't know, you know, I like it because of this, you know, certain reasons or whatever. So take like something maybe from your childhood that you liked back then that like is totally not cool now or like, or like end up being kind of stupid when you look back on it and just leave it in the comment section below. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. This has been Kenshin1913. See you later. Bye-bye.